Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to show you how to use MSI Afterburner to display stats in game so you can see things like your CPU and GPU usage on the fly at a glance, so you can easily check for bottlenecks and just monitor system performance. So I'm assuming you've already downloaded and installed Afterburner and Rivia Tuning Statistics, which is part of the download. Then once you've done that, launch Afterburner, click on the settings there, and then head over to on-screen display and you'll see that there are options to toggle on-screen display. I'd recommend setting up some hotkeys to launch that. When you've done that, what you need to do is go over to the monitoring section and in there you'll find that there are various different things listed in here. So you can go through all sorts of things. You'll see, for example, that we have GPU temperature, GPU usage. These Some of these are already ticked, but as default, they don't actually display on the screen. So if you click onto each of them, I'm going to use GPU usage, click on show in on screen display, and then you can go through and basically do this for any of the ones that you want to show up. So we might want to go on to core clock, and then perhaps we're going to do the CPU usage. These ones, for example, can be very useful when checking bottlenecks. So you just basically go through each and every one that you want to add in. And if you're looking for your frame rates, you want to come down here. Maybe you want to put frame rate minimum, average, and maximum tick to show these. You do have to make sure it's selected as an option in here as well. Once you've done that, click apply and it'll save. And then when you launch your game, you should find it in the overlays. Again, you can turn it on and off by creating a key here. Whatever shortcuts you want. And then just simply save that and off you go. Don't forget you'll need to launch Afterburner before you start your game in order for this to work. Then once you're in game, you'll see the data you selected on the left hand side of the screen. You can adjust the colors and things like that within the software if you want to change it. These are the defaults. But what I'd pay attention to are things like obviously your FPS count to see that that's steady. But then also how much usage your CPU and GPU is under. You'll see that there's an average for the CPU as well as individuals for each of the cores and the GPU usage too. If you notice that your GPU isn't under much use, so let's say 60% instead of 90 like it is here, and you're playing a high quality, good looking game, then that may well suggest a bottleneck. I've done a video on that separately if you want to find out more.